Good morning! Hello friends, happy Saturday. We're back with more Vault Hunters. And I think I just want to get into it right away. I I am so motivated to play more and more and more Vault Hunters. I don't know what it is. There's an itch that needs to be scratched. The only cure is more Vault or something like that. I played probably 90 minutes to two hours last night. And I moved and organized all of our shame chests. I, I, I don't know. I didn't want to do this on stream. I thought this was the sort of thing. It's like, look, you know how many people care to watch me, you know, put things in boxes and have a home. Instead, I'll just, I'll just magically snap my fingers. Well, that's not true because I'm not doing editing. Like, ha, look, it's done. <laughs> I figured out what I do instead is just show you the outcome. And it's not done. Uh, there are still some other things that we have to do, but I'll give you, I'll give you a quick, like, uh, MTV Cribs tour of what we're doing. It was a lot of work. It was. But welcome, friends, while we wait for this to load. Welcome, Teen Trilogy. Good morning, Ghost Valve and the A in map. Hello, Stizit. And then Elma. What's up, everybody? Good morning, early morning crew. Appreciate y'all being here first thing during the day. All right. I always forget how long it takes to launch this. Have I seen the latest Iskel Vault Hunter VOD? I did last night. Iskel has storage drawers. <laughs> Good morning, Mean and Slag. I tried to present it in my most Iskal voice possible. Drawers are expensive. Yeah, good morning, Deimos. Yeah, it looks like everything in modded requires... requires... Pardon me, everything in Vault Hunters requires, uh, like, gems from the vault to put in, which is kind of interesting. I mean, I realize that the, you know, storage drawers are more expensive in Vault Hunters than they are in comparison to a normal pack, but I think, again, it's all balanced within it. I'm not too worried yet. So, this is the new storage area. So, I guess the first thing I have to show off is this. So, remember our previous shame chest area? I moved everything other than the enchanter. <laughs> the enchanter is still sitting here, and it's because I don't have a home for it yet, so it's chilling. And the vault portal used to be here. It's gone. And I left the nether portal, but maybe we can move that as well. Or maybe it stays there. I don't know. I'm not too worried. But we head on down. And so here was our villager area. And I did a bit of grinding. So I've got some emeralds. And I've got some excess patats and some thingies. And then we've got all our villagers organized. But I've also got all the seeds up here and some excess poisonous patats. Our home looks like a quarry, yes. So basically, whenever we need resources and whenever we have no idea what to do next, we're going to keep digging down. And our base is just going to be level by level. And it should be very interesting. I don't know if we want to do like a full circle around the outside or if we want to do like drawbridges between it. I was thinking it'd be really cool to have an island there. And then here's our storage area, which maybe could be one layer taller now that I'm looking at it, but it's fine. So I've got all of our stone stuff goes here. And then we've got our ores, or pardon me, our ores, and then our metals, and then like redstone, and just like miscellaneous stuff. Um, <laughs> fancy stuff that are dark. So like obsidian, I don't know. Our, our wealth box. This is very important. Uh, like room for extra stuff. We've got our mob drops. So we've got hostile mobs, ender mobs, nether mobs, peaceful mobs, fish mobs. And then the woods that we have, you know, miscellaneous blocks by type. It's not perfect. And then originally my plan was I was going to mirror this on that side with all the stuff that we get from vaults, right? And I haven't done that yet. Also, I wanted to dig another nether hole and it was going to be our, um, our ore. Sort of like our ore vault and just do like big piles of it, which would be kind of cool, but I'm not quite there yet. And then we have uh, common, uncommon, rare, and very rare gems sort of stacked up. So that's it. I mean, this is the entirety of our vault progress all at once right now. And I thought for today, um, we have we have to do a shorter day today because my parents are visiting town and I'm going to be having lunch with them. But what I thought for today was let's do some vaults. I did a bunch of digging. I did a bunch of chilling. And as we mentioned, um, as Dizit mentioned from watching Isco's latest video, everything comes down to vault progress. Everything is vault progress unless it's... Uh, Unless you want to focus on vanilla. So if that's the case, let's get some more vault progress. Oh, this is what I need. Okay, I need another chest. 
So what we should do is we should have a like a quick gear swap chest. So here's the stuff that doesn't come with me into the vault. Um, and here's the stuff that does. So yeah, smite sword, our pick. Uh, we don't want the efficient. Yes, we do want the efficiency six pick. We put that on. We don't need torches. And then I want three shulkers. I haven't done a vault in a very long time, so hopefully everything goes well here. We have our splash potions. Can we have another vault pig? What do you mean by vault pig? Oh my goodness. Right, back from the Dwarven Kingdom. I remember now. Joe, help me out. All right, three stacks of blocks. What else did I normally have on me? These were always full, weren't they? Oh, um, yes, I need my weird apple things. <clears throat> I don't think I have any. I mean, I have one cobalt apple. That's kind of cool. Thanks for the chill vibes. No worries, Bruce. Studying for your MCAT. Man, you're smarter than I am. That's amazing. Good luck. So yeah, normally it would be the other types of heart. And what we really want to fixate on here, that's maybe not the right word. Our major goal here is just vault ores, or gems, vault gems. Lots and lots and lots of vault gems. Maybe some more vault diamonds, because we might be able to get our first, start unlocking some mods if we can get vault diamonds. Didn't activate my Elytra. <laughs> Oh, no, <laughs> I have to stress P. That didn't take very long. So I've got levels. I think I've got everything I need. All right, give me a quick second. I, I'm like very worked up about my first vault here. And let's uh, let's get some progress today, friends. I'm very excited to just like jam a bunch of vaults this morning. Be right back. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, I'm back. I'm back and let's vault and let's see if we get a good one to start because I want that loot. All right. Um, yeah, like, let's just go, I guess. And first vault du jour is plentiful. Now, plentiful, I believe, has to do with, um, that's spooky. Let's go this way. Plentiful, I think, gives you more crystals. Okay, so we are going south, chat. Please remember south. Morning, LSG. Crit. What is this? Five hearts? I'll do it right now, because I have lots of healing pots at this point. Oh! Oh! Another totem of Undyne! So worth. Uh, I'll get, uh, I'll get subs after this. Okay, uh, that's huge. Oh, the totem is so big. 
Where are they all coming from? Oh, right. Why was that one in particular so tanky? Heading south. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you for joining me so far today. Very excited to be vaulting. It's early morning adventure. Uh, I don't think I'm going to worry too much about the tree chests. We're just going to run around the bottom here. And we're going to keep hunting for... We're going to keep hunting for uh, gem rooms. Rude. Rude. Uh, continue heading south. What is this room? Baby zombie. Die. <laughs> oh, this is a western room. We like the western room. It's got lots of gilded chests. We like gilded chests. Looks like I've got a power bar. Wanted to do the boss. It'd be very exciting. Is this the furthest south I can go, or do I have to find the door through here? That looks like a no perino in that direction. Not going this way either. Alright, let's very quickly organize our inventory here. So first things first, anything that I don't care about will go in there. Let's do this. Uh, occupied. O occupied. Uh, go ahead and uh, send that person to the shuttle room, please, mods. Thank you, mods. All right, we're going north now, friends. Please remember, north. Not see that, that chest the first time. That's not the way I'm going. North. Wait. Yes. Wait, that means I didn't go south before. Hold on, time out. No, I did go south. I'm so turned around. Alright, let's actually go east here, just so we can maximize the amount of time we have while we're running about. Middle of cooking, yeah. I think this is another western room, which is a big deal. Nice. No! That's so rude! Okay. 
All right, we're getting good loot. Maybe not as much in the realm of uh, like gems we wanted, but like we are getting good stuff here, eh? Look at it all. Think that uh, TNT trap didn't have a chain reaction? Mm -hmm. uh, is there any chests down below that we're seeing here? I think we're doing okay. Rude. All right, anything I want to get rid of? Spider! Sorry. Party apples. Excellent. I'm just going to do that right now. Ooh, that's a good noise. That's so rude. Oh my god. I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. My totem just went off. Oh my god. Uh, that was a explosion that almost killed us. Holy moly. Um, I want to go back. I think it was west is the direction we came from. Oh my god. If we didn't find that totem and equip that totem, we would have died right there. Definitely don't have any more totems. Cool! Well, that was exciting. We almost died, you know, as one does. Alright, we are now going east. Oh, um, I've never been in one of these rooms before, but I've watched Iskal do it a bunch. You go down into the sewers, and there's, like, loot for days, right? Cities are your favorite room. I can't believe how close we were to death there, chat. Like, literally unresponsible, uh, almost exploded to death is uh, what just happened. Ooh, netherite booties. Try blocking off the ones that we've been to here. Plentiful looking good right now. I thought Plentiful gave me ores. Uh, I'll hit the subs after. Thank you so much, friends. Welcome, everybody. I'm so happy you're here. Hope you're all having just an amazing morning. Appreciate the heck out of all y'all. Oh, let's keep this. Is there anything from that? I want these hardy apples on me. I'm gonna go like that. Right? Today is a short stream? Yeah, it'll be about three hours, Chrono. I gotta go at about 12 PST today. Oh! Oh! Look up! Simply look up, forehead. Alright, I think we've done a pretty good job in here. Nope. Never mind. There's a lot of loot down here. Holy moly. Okay. 
Let's get out now. All right, so I was going east out of here. Are you okay? <laughs> Is there anything in the houses? I'll grab that netherrack. All right, doesn't seem worth. Uh, we're going. We were going east. Yes. Thirteen minutes left. All right, let's keep going here. Is this the room where the loot is in the trees? You know, I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to keep going to see if we can't find a, uh, a more obviously good room. Like this one? Question mark? Yeah, oh, definitely not. Okay, good talk. So we have 12 minutes left. So let's, um, let's just pick a direction off of here. Because remember, we're using blocks to track our direction. Are there little explosions all over this room? Like, what's happening? Check on top of the roofs on the way back. Or, or, we just go to this room, and this is where we're going to spend the rest of our time. This is what we wanted. We wanted a crystal room. So I believe this is where the modifier we have really pays off, right? Good morning, friends. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Are they glowing red? Yes, they are. That means there's a shrine nearby. It means it's down here. Somewhat. There it is. Okay. Come over here, please. Come over here. Source of evil. Ooh! Black opals. Alright, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. God, there's so much junk. I know I want the black ore. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. A little bit occupied though right now.
Holy moly, just the amount of garbage. This is where auto sorting would come in so handy. And now we're doing eight minutes. Uh, we'll keep looting this room, then we'll head back. Yeah. Another Laramar. I really don't need to stop and grab ancient debris. I've got more ancient debris than I'm probably going to need for the rest of the game. So let's uh, let's just chill and focus on Vault Ore here, right? Because we got that uh, we got that Fuji box that gave us ten bajillion or whatever, right? Need to get them danks going, right? I think that's another legendary ore right there. Um, so let's go down and get that. Need to find another chest. Dump my inventory here. Fuji's doing good work. Oh my goodness, I almost left that black ore as well. Okay, that's another black opal. Um, were you anything? No. Oh, oh no, that was fall damage. My kingdom for a chest. Oh! What happens if you accidentally save and quit during a vault? Oh, that's terrible news. Oh, I, I misclicked. Oh, please don't. Oh, please don't. Please don't kill me. Oh, I'm gonna be so sad. I accidentally hit escape because I was trying to quit out of a menu and then my mouse clicked. Oh, I'm like nauseous right now. <laughs> Anyways, good morning, everybody. Welcome. Uh, let's cross our fingers together here, please. Can you whitelist ores for your backpack? There's more ores than there is space in the backpack. I could, but it's it's too small. I'd have to pick a pretty specific list of things. Also, um, ores. I mean, I guess I could pick them up that way. Yeah, actually, that might be a really good call because I'm never going to loot ores from a chest. Let's take a second and do hyperbolic happiness afterwards, provided I don't die and lose my backpack right now, and we'll do that. All right, please tell me I'm not dead. The loading time makes this brutal. So hopefully because it's single player, the timer is still not running because it's not a server. Okay, good. Yes, 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 yes. We're literally right back where we started. Wait, I'm only down to five minutes. Did the timer keep going? Okay, I should start heading out. Uh, which way is my way home? Timer paused. Okay. This way. Uh, and now we go this way. 
And then once we get back to our starting room, what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll give ourselves a bit of, oh, actually, hold on. There's only one chest on the roof. Another right next to the creeper. Yeah, I'm not too worried about ancient debris or anything right now. See this before either. Oh, does the plane up top have anything? Probably. But uh, I forgot. Okay, uh, now we're here. And I remember this room sucked. Oh, there's my portal right there. Okay, um, interesting. There are... There's some stuff here. I've never checked out this room. This room before. This is fine. I have the no fire and no fall thing active. Uh, four minutes. No, no, no. Let's let's get some value out of this room. Terrifying. Okay. Um. Okay. You know what? Let's just bail. Good enough, my friends. Good enough. Grab the braziers? Nah. People say that every time. We're not decorating. That's not what we're here about. Fine. Just because you've asked so nicely. I'll grab these braziers for you. Never say I don't do anything nice for you, Twitch chat. GG. All right. Okay. <laughs> Terrifying. So, it's time... Ooh. It's time to do uh, that thing I really enjoy doing, which is we grab three of these. And we start organizing our loot. Hey, real quick while I was in the vault. Inkslayer, thank you for 29 months of tier 2 support. I was told there'd be vaulting. I don't see any polls. <laughs> Jarhai, thank you for 35 months. Explosions are great. Uh, Zozo Wolf, thank you for 19 months. And Jessica with the 100 uh, GG biddies. Um, I need a shelf. I need a shelf. What are the vaults and why are they terrifying? It's a very good question. You know what? Let's make our let's make our right here. Okay. So we're gonna put all of our vault ore. I think this might be the single best ore run we've ever done. Uh vanilla stuff goes over here. And things like food and whatever, they go in this one. I don't know where the decorative braziers are going to go. We'll just put the ores away and the dirt away. Like this stuff I don't care about. Um, any of these weird modded blocks can go and despawn in the corner. All right, good. All right. I think we made out real good this vault. I think we did really, really, really good. Oh my god. I had 12 hearty apples. Let's go. That's incredible. All right. Stuff like this goes here. Uh, that's some ore. That's some ore. That's not ore. That's ore. Wow, I got so much iron in there. So I got some netherite booties, which is very exciting. Then in here... Wow, this is... Okay, I know we say this every time, but it's, it's good that we're learning. 
This may have been the best vault we've ever done, just in terms of like raw, raw stuff that we pulled out of it. I don't see any vault diamonds, which is a little too bad, but I think that's still okay. What a haul so far. Yeah, I need, I can stop grabbing ancient debris now. We have so much. Some double compressed netherrack too. That's good stuff. So I have one more prepped thing for this as well. All right, so here we go. Here's the list of things that we got. Let's just make sure these are done. Also, actually, one sec before we check that out. Um, I need to start, I need to start writing down a list of things I want to make. And so we need a unloading area. Uh, we need a um, ore vault. We need a bedroom. Okay, let's show off our wealth. How did we do? Well, we got... Netherite booties, which is kind of cool. Uh, we got some extra potions. These are very handy. We got golden apples and a ton of gold that'll help us get more potions. Yeah, that's that's respectable. Here, we got four traders. Actually, let's start with these first. We got mystery boxes and some raffles. Let's put the, uh, the potion stuff away first. I think I used three potions that run. I think I used four potions that run, actually, but we almost died, so that's fine. All right, so relic booster packs. Oh, we got a little bit of experience from these. I didn't know that. Muffin. All right, mystery boosters. Okay, hamburger patty, some iron ore, some coal, some more ancient debris, a book, a book, a chocolate bar, some experience potions. Tomato. All right. Kind of weird. All right. What do we got here? Sweeping Edge 3, Mending, and Sharpness 5. I mean, these are all totally legit books. Oh, wow. Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, Armor. That's actually really good. All right. Let's put that in there. Um, I don't have... Right. Right, 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 right. Sorry. I don't have an enchanting area. This is our to-do list. Have you made a statue recycler? No, I have not. I don't have enough statues to really have to worry about that yet. But it is on my it is on my radar as a thing that I know I have to make at some point. Is that just sand? It is. Hamburger patty. Coal goes in this box. Oh, right. What if I, you know, put the rest of the hamburger toppings? There we go. I don't know what to do with these books yet. I'm just going to put them in this chest for now. And then once we make the enchanter, it'll go there. All right. So what else do we have? We have four traders. And they are... Buys vault bronze to sell hardy apples. Amazing. Buys vault bronze to sell mystery boxes. Okay. Uh, silver for cobalt apples. Okay. And buys vault bronze to sell diamonds. Oh, that's not that exciting. But whatever, we'll put them all in here. This is funny. So I can sell vault diamonds, or I can sell diamond blocks for vault bronze, or I could buy them back. <laughs> I think I've demonstrated a loop. Oh, good morning, Dugma. <clears throat> all right. This is huge. The 15 jade apples is actually amazing. Uh, what do you give me? White wool. Oh, that's cool. All right. Uh, what we need is another chest or another... <laughs> another sign, rather. We need another sign that says uh, statue area. Nine diamonds turns into 16 diamonds. Yes. However... We don't need diamonds, so even though we can net more, also they, they tap out at a certain point. Oh, but if I buy 
three bronze for 12 diamonds and then sell them back. Yeah, but again, I think we just buy them, but we don't actually give them anything. We have four cookies. Let's see if this is enough for a level. Hey, level 14, a GG. Just in case we die, let's put half of these back here. That's big. This is strong enough to let us maybe take on a boss. Uh, Vault Bronze goes into there. Catalyst Fragments go up here. I haven't used these yet. But that's okay. It's not infinite bronze. These trades max out after like two. So, yeah. It's 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 not that exciting. You have demonstrated... You've not demonstrated a loop. You've demonstrated a... Like, you do it twice and then it's done. Alright, let's put these in here. Uh, the netherite goes in there. I don't know if I'm ever going to need like leather or iron gear. So I'm keeping it in this box until eventually I just toss it. I just need you to know that, chat. Uh, wither skulls go in the nether box. Redstone ore goes here. It's a finite loop? Yes. I mean, this is going to be pooping out wool, so let's just go and do it right now. Perfect. <laughs> all right, so that's both of these boxes organized. And now finally, we have all of the ore. And there was an excellent suggestion. There was an excellent suggestion, which was to reprogram my backpack so that it picks up the ores. And I like that idea a lot, actually. A lot, a lot. All right, so there we are. Because we never loot it, uh, the way the backpack works is it picks up things that are on the ground. It won't pick up things that are, um, that are looted directly from a chest. And luckily, ores... Oh, right, I'm not wearing my Elytra. <laughs> luckily for us, ores have that behavior, right? So we should be able to find a slot for all of these. And I think, my friends, I think we just run it right back and do our next one after this. I don't know if I care about these haste apples, though. All right. So, how does this work? Let's make the whole top row these, right? So, technically, I am... Um, technically, I've been whitelisting... Am I not putting any candy bars away? Technically, I've been whitelisting like these this whole time as well. Okay, backpack. Um, how do you how do you open up the settings for backpack? You like shift right click, there we go, whitelist. Okay. That's so smart. That's so smart. So now what happens? Whenever any of these hit the ground, instead of them going into my inventory, they go into my backpack. Isn't that so cool? And that'll save us a lot of room. And also, um, how much time did we lose in that last fight from trying to, like, wrangle all that stuff, you know? So Alexandrite is an uncommon. Bomanite, I think, is... Uh, I think... I think... These are all legendaries here. Which is really cool. So Painite, rare. There's the commons and uncommons. So we did really well that last one there. I'm going to put this in here too. It's going to save you so much time, right? All right. Um, let's just run it back. We have one more of these. And then, and then we chill. Then we go back to, like, just vibing. Okay, so my bag has got six of these potions all together. I've got my three stacks of blocks on me. Uh, we've got our bag, which is now set up. Uh, we've got some candy bars on us for some speed. What if I should spend this point? Hey, good morning, happy pants. 
I should probably spend this point before we go in. Uh, I think I just want to start putting some extra hearts in. I can't take strength yet. There's a bunch of stuff I'd want to take at 25 that I can't take. So, oh, oh, Vein Miner Finesse is next time. No, no, no. We want Vein Miner Fortune, which will be huge. That'll give us some extra, well, fortune. Uh, cleanse is fine. What is tank? Haste to break spawners faster. Mm, I don't know. I don't break a lot of spawners, though. I typically just run by them. It's very rare for me to fight them. Does someone know the vault count? I believe that's number 10. I think I just want an extra heart. Another streamer I watched has Rampage. We took Rampage. I didn't use it very well when I fought the boss, but we're learning. Yeah, our first attempt at a boss, you should watch the uh, the VOD from the last stream. Did not go terribly well, but that's okay. That was two streams ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to take this extra heart. There we go. Look, we have an 11th heart now. You get tank, you can bind them so it and rampage are the same key. That's kind of cool. All right, um, let's just go. Let's just go, Twitch chat. You ready? I don't need to stress pee because I already did that. <laughs> All right, good modifier. No modifier. You know, no modifier is a good modifier. All right, we start right away in a cowboy room. You love to see it. Six obelisks. That's never happening. Oh my god, am I high enough level now that there's skeletons? That's terrible news. I think I already did that one, yes. Creeper. Creepers are so dangerous, dangerous in this room because they can start a chain reaction. Let's head downstairs. Good thing we came downstairs. <laughs> sure is a lot down here, eh? All right, uh, let's go south. I already hit this one, right? Saw some of the chest. Yes, this is the way. We like this room? Remember, there's stuff in the water, supposedly. Boat. That is the sound of... No. Oh, no. Please. I want to go... Uh, which way was I going? I came from this direction, right? So I want to keep going south. Anything exciting in this room? See, and chest. Now let's keep going. Still going south. Graveyard room. Graveyard room. Graveyards have chests, but also scary amounts of mobs. 
So let's sit here. Oh, we also went as far south as we can. Okay. Oh, Lord. <laughs> How do you open the doors, chat? How do you open the doors to get into, um, into, like, the sarcophagi? Just your brain surge. It's awfully rude of me not to share. That's fair. That's fair. Alright, I'm, I'm out. I'm not out! Uh, I was coming from the north, is that correct? Yes. So rude! Uh, this room seems kind of chill. Really quick. Wow, so rude. Alright, let's go this way now. Which way is this direction? We're going to the west now. Is this a village or a witch room? Was this the mining the mining room where there's ores down below? I think this is the mining camp room. This room sucks. get out of here so we came from the west so if we go back this way correct let's go oh underwater Uh, yeah, don't worry about too much about the the constant updates. I think with the new wall thing, there we go. All right, we got a we got a crystal room. Heck yeah! So here we go. We get to test the new system. Get to test the new system, chat. Scales mod pack correct. This is Vault Hunters. So, last time we had uh, Plentiful or whatever, and that was a mod pack that 
basically put more ores. So you can see com in comparison to last time we were here, how many fewer like good ores there are inside of these. Oh my god, was that a creeper behind me? No, I hit the wrong button. Okay. There's one. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. We want this. We don't want these. Alright, I came in this way. So let's keep going east. I don't see like a ton, a ton more. Can't keep going east. Let's get out. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see much, much more, and without something like Plentiful, I don't know if it's worth it. It's funny to me that diamonds and debris aren't even worth it. At this point, no. We've got so much of them, right? Uh, let's put these speed bars here. Alright, so we want the blocks on our left on the way home. That's the blocks on the right. Hold on. They can't all be on the right. If they're all on the right, that means this is the last way to go. Yes. Haha! -ha! The system works, chat! Alright, so now let's go let's go back two rooms. It's a dead end. So this is our way in. Yep. Good. It's all working. It's all coming up us. I believe this was our starting room. So, if I find a big door out like this... Got 13 minutes. Alright, let's go. Oh, another crystal room! Come on. Suck. Thank you, friend. I'll uh, give that little peek ski after. Terrified me. Okay, I don't actually see much in these. Never mind, there's one. more down here. this one minute yeah mm. all right we're doing it anything in here I don't think so anything in here another Laramar Got another, another Laramar. Everything's going great. Grab the saddle. I've got six at home. Also, you can buy saddles from a villager. They're not like super duper duper hard to find. Keep 
take that on us. All right, um, nine minutes, nine minutes. So which way did we, sorry, which way did we come in here, chat? Did I leave a block on the way out? Not that one. Resident sleeper, how dare you? I think I came in from this direction. I did, okay. Yo, what's up, skunky? Thank you, friend. Oh, that's bad. All right, we're going this way. Ooh, what is this room? I have never seen this room before. In Iskal's video or anything. Is this room sweet or no? It's full of fish! No, that's good enough. I don't really care. All right. So that was this way. We have eight minutes. We can keep going. Start heading back at about six minutes. Jungle room. This is also a new room for me. Yeah, never been here. Twenty-eight levels. Let's go. I'll take this melon. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's start heading back and we'll start branching off it once we get there. There's another secret door. Yeah, but secret doors require a secret key. I don't think you can just walk into them. And I'm not at the point where I can uh, unlock them yet. Alright, let's head back to our spawn room and then branch off from there. stuff, but that's fine. Alright, so there's the portal. Got six minutes still. gonna be really hard to see but actually not if I do this there that's the way we came in another obelisk nowhere near it one more room one more room is like the exact same honey room again. All right, that's fine. Unamas.
All right, let's uh, let's head back. Let's bail. Up top. Okay. You know what? I think this was a again not as successful as the previous one, but with no modifiers, it wasn't bad. I mean, I guess I've got a little bit of time, so I could hang out here. I could grab some of this honey, which is maybe useful. Bolts, yeah. Anything down here? Like, uh, not, I'm not getting too lost. Let's keep going. So we're here now. You know, run the full circle, this full gauntlet. <laughs> Never say I don't do anything for you, Twitch chat. All right. You know what? I feel good about that. Good stuff. Hey, Wolfstrike, thank you so much for 26 months. These months keep sneaking up on you. Very spoopy and skunky. Yo, Skunky, not only with a tier 2 sub, also just unlocked a diamond bean, 24 months. I need to get some hearts for that. Thank you so much for the continued support. And Jessica with 100 vibe and biddies. I appreciate it. So that was like a respectable vault. I don't think that one was super OP, but let's let's take a look at what we got regardless, right? So starting with the vanilla stuff, I like this door. <laughs> The door is very important. I ended up coming out of this with like some junk. All right. I think we invested three potions into that, which is not great. Sweet base, thank you. It's, <laughs> it's a hole. Oh, you know what? Maybe we came out of this with some stuff. Maybe we came out of this with some stuff. Maybe I'm being unfair to myself. Like, look at this feather and this melon that I got. I wouldn't have got these. Oh, these potatoes. Potatoes are precious. Precious patats, right? That's what I always say. Got a ton of hearty apples again. Okay, that feels good. Never mind. So we managed to make out with more healing potions that we invested into it. So everything else is just profits. That's just songs, right? All right, what do we get here? We got another black opal. Uh, anything that's super exciting. A bunch of uncommons. Uh, sparkle teen, I think, is very important. Okay, that's about it. So we got more ores. We didn't get any vault diamonds. We really need to start getting more vault diamonds here. Tonight goes there. Sparkle team, black opal. Like this is, that was okay. For some reason you're thinking about holes. Mm. Been cursed. Oh, should that new ore also get whitelisted? Uh, which one was that? That was that was Wu Tadite, right? Yes, you are you are correct. It should be whitelisted. There we go. Where do I? Sorry, it goes here. Okay, well, that's it for vaults today. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, hold on. Like, let's just use the netherite one. The backtrack backpack trade was so good, wasn't it? Okay, let's go over the stuff that we got. So, like we said, we broke even. We actually profited off of healing potions, which I'm very excited about. So let's take three of these and then upgrade them. And then we've got like we've got potions for days, which I'm very excited about. Let's put the two extra potions in here. Then we're basically good to go. The rest of the stuff we got is fine. It's not exciting, but it's fine. So let's just organize everything here. This will go away. This extra experience pots will go down here. Earls, stonks, whores. Honey, honey, randomly I put in my redstone box. I don't know if other people have that association as well. What's James pooping out? James is making, James, James is a chicken and is laying wool for us. Wait, James is a sheep? <laughs> All right, we got a bunch of relic boosters. Nothing. We got four mystery boxes. Glass. And what is this book? Protection 4? I mean, Protection 4 is quite good. So glass goes here. Sand goes here. Iron ore goes up here. What else did we get? Oh, 10 cookies. Wow. Uh, this might be two levels. One level. Not quite, but we got one level, which is very exciting. I really like that heart. I'm kind of tempted to throw another point into heart right now. It's either heart or another point in... Uh, no, dash is level three. I'd need two points if I wanted to put a second point into dash. <clears throat> what about vein miner? We're about to do a bunch of mining. Level three is 16 blocks. That's kind of cool. Yeah, let's put another point into vein miner. There we go. Good stuff. All right. Uh, we have all this stuff. Hardy apples and other apples and everything. So let's put these all away. Is it like that? No, it's a nine. Oh my goodness. All right. That's fine. Compress our money while we go. The apple stack is very satisfying. So I have never used a... I've never used a... Um, Catalyst Fragment before. How many how, how many of you in chat who are playing Vault Hunters have used Catalyst Fragments? And if so, what level were you when you did? Curious about that. There's other things I should buy. Buy all these chocolate bars. Don't go buy no Larmar. Buy some mystery boxes. Be kind of cool. Nah, it's fine. We'll save that all for later. Like, should I, be doing, should I be using Catalyst Fragments right away, or is it just fine to go in totally random? I don't know. Not a lot of, not a lot of Catalyst Fragments. Got it. All right. Well, that was the only vaults that we had prepared. So we have a couple of options we could do today. One... We could just go mine and prep a couple more vault altars. Or two, we could start doing more base work. So I'm curious, curious what you'd prefer. And in the meantime, while we figure that out, I think I'm just going to dig another layer of my hole, because this makes me happy. Oops, that was too powerful. You haven't played, you're just obsessed with the pack? Well, fair enough. Like hanging out, watching people play. It's totally valid, too. It's a fun pack. It's a very fun pack. So let's do two layers of this as a warm-up. Reacquaint ourselves with our pickaxe here. And then, yeah, get a little bit more depth. I had to... Oh, my God. I had to torch this up. It was so bad. When I was just, like, grinding and going back and forth last night. Like the idea of a base break? Yeah. Alright. 
So I'll tell you what, let's go down two layers here and, you know, we're going to slowly start chipping away, eventually making this all the way down to bedrock. And then let's start excavating in that area. And I guess the first thing we're going to do is going to be our big, um, our big ore vault. Welcome to the uh, the pillar driller, friends. Legally distinct punch a chunk. No, no, no. It's not a punch a chunk. A pillar driller. A totally different. In fact, I can't believe James would rip off my totally unique idea like this. I want to try this pack, but I still need to finish Elden Ring and the new PoE League looks fun, so I don't know if I'll find time. Yep. Yep. There is no shortage of good games. I uh, I had a good time playing Elden Ring, and then I stopped playing one day and I never picked it back up. My first ever Souls-like. It was fun. There's just too much of it. I was like, is this game ever going to end? And everyone I talked to was like, no! And they were really excited about that. And I was like, oh god. <laughs> I don't have time for this. is round, therefore not a pit. Look at that pick go. Isn't it beautiful? Dreams come true. The only downside to having super huge reach is um, I'm super far away from all the blocks that I mine. means like the pass to go collect them after is actually a lot bigger than uh, a normal one. So what's up with you everybody? How's your weekend going? You're having just a fantastic day. Man, it's so weird sort of the uh, the energy level whiplash that is going from a vault to suddenly just being like, all right, calm the heart rate. Let's dig a hole. Are there any perks for magnet? Nope, but you can craft a magnet. The problem with magnets have durability that can't be repaired, so they're kind of a constant resource drain. They're better for the vault than they are in the overworld. Oh, I just caught COVID from your kid. I'm so sorry. Hope it passes quickly. What's up, pharmacist judge? This is the pillar driller. It's completely different from a punch of chunk. Bought Skyrim on disc. Amazing. 95 cents. That's very funny. Just want to sleep all day. Well, good news. You're welcome to just chill and vibe here as long as you need. Take a nap or get errands done? I've been napping way too much lately. Like, my sleep schedule's kind of a mess, and I've been making up for it by having, like, afternoon naps after work. And I kind of just want to try and, like, tough through it one day and forcefully reset my schedule. I don't know. I really like napping. It's super cozy, but I worry that if I'm napping every day, I've done something wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? Trying to consume a little less caffeine. That's a good goal. All right, we're full. Ow. Look at that. Two layers of my pick almost broke. Holy moly.
tried to go caffeine free last weekend, but I tested positive. Kits, no! <laughs> You're like, yeah. I'll, uh... Oh, it feels like COVID's everywhere right now. It's really bumming me out. I wish we could have just been, like, collectively as a society. I wish we could have just been chill for, like, another month. You know, just a little bit more patience. Ow. Whoa. Hope your day is going well on lunch from setting up the stage for the Junos next week. That's very cool. Have fun. Wow. All right. Um... Put down torches. I need just a couple of ladders. Beep. Pardon me. I mean, finishing touches on my judge conference presentation on judge branding. Oh. I might bring up the story in the first time we met. That's so funny. I mean, you had the branding for sure. What's up, all is lost? Is Vault Chunk progressing well? Absolutely. Setting up for a big event isn't as fun as it sounds. I mean, that's fair. That's a little bit stressful. All right. So let's start working on some of our goals here. And we need an unload area and we also need an ore vault area. So let's do the ore vault first. And in order to do that, I actually need to repair my pick. But luckily, luckily, Your provides a plentiful amount of these uh, these potions, eh? What's the big circle going to be? That's our base. So I don't want to spend a ton of time because Vault Hunters is primarily about progressing, you know, in, in the vault. Hence being Vault Hunters. Very smart. <laughs> so what I'm trying to do with this base is I'm trying to... Spend more time just excavating and digging out rooms that we need, because digging out a room is also going to give us the materials we need to keep building. So these, like, pretty simple cave-like rooms. And then... Yeah, and then really prioritize, like, adding farms and stuff like that. You like the chest room? It's awesome. Thank you. On this side, we have a villager room, like little villager trading hall. We've got our vault portal, and then we're going to make ourselves a, like, an ore room right here. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. Oops. There we go. So here. Ha <laughs> All right, so we want to go in about three or four blocks, and then it's going to be, then it's going to be vault time. Now this room needs to have a flat floor instead of a slabbed floor, because of course blocks can't be placed on slabs or else they float in the air. And that's fine, so we'll just like step down a level. <clears throat> now this room needs to have a lot of height, because I want... Very ambitious in terms of how many how many vault ores we're gonna get, right? One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Pardon me. What if you just inset the blocks into the floor? Nah. No, no, no. It's fine. We'll just make it a flat floor. I don't know. I think that would look kind of weird. But I, I think I see what you're saying. The problem with that is we'd constantly have to, like, rip out the floor 
to um, to place them. And then on the flip side, anytime we wanted to uh, like break some for a reason, that we'd have to have slabs on us. It'd be it would be a lot of work to be like changing the shape of it over and over and over. So I don't love that. One, two, three, four. I think that might work if it wasn't a room you literally had to work in all the time. You know what I mean? Joe just brought me some throat goo. There we go. All right. How many different ores are there? Uh, so far, we've gotten... Well, actually, we can look it up, right? Because there's the Pog. So the Pog requires the nine legendary gems. I guess... Hold on. Are they just called gems? So I can just, I can just look up the word gem. Oh, Lord. Oh, but some of these are upgraded. Okay. So... Alexandrite, Biobenientite, Laramar, Black Opal Painite, and then we have the Unique Gems. And you've got an even size? So it's fine. We'll, we'll fix it all out, but thank you. Like one, sorry, where are we? Puffium Echo. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, Supposedly, we have 16 gems. So we have to make room for 16 piles in this room. So 16 piles means we could do like four by four quadrants. Five. Yeah, we can do four by four quadrants. So we'd want a relatively square room and we'd build up. The other thing we could do is like dig pits or something like that, like have a raised up area and there's pits that they go into. But that would mean the that would mean the um the footprint it would look less impressive, you know what I mean? So let's just do this for now. So this room is currently what is this, 17 wide? One, two, three, four, five, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wait. 15 by 15 doesn't really allow... This is even. It would have to be odd. I was going to say, that doesn't really divide nicely and evenly into little four by four chunks, right? Hmm. Like 16 by 16 would be perfect, would it? 4 by 4 is not huge either. Well, no, we can't. It can't be even. It literally can't. So when the entrance to a room is odd, your room can't be even. Otherwise, it'll be lopsided and or lumpy. So because the circle is odd and because the entrance into every room is odd, every room must also be odd, if that makes sense. Minecraft, it's very important to pick either odd or even and then commit to it. I don't make the rules, it's just how it works. There's no 4x4 four four that fits it? Yeah, but that's not the problem. The problem is going to be how to make it work in an odd number. not going even. You said the word even. I said you pick. <laughs> I just said pick odd or even. And you're like, but what if you did both? No. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that is true. The room could be odd by even. I think it's fine. I think because these are going to be organic shapes that uh, even if it's not perfect, we give them sort of corners and make it work. 
Because I don't think I'm going to get enough legendary gems. That uh, we're going to have huge stacks of them, right? I also don't know if we necessarily need to even, like, mark out the floor. To try and make it look pretty. I think we could just... I think we can just roughly in our head know that this room is divided into quadrants. Yeah, I like this plan. Hey, 10th piece of eight. Thank you for that prime in 14 months, my friend. Happy weekend. Toaster's the length of a banana. Oh my goodness. Adorable. <clears throat> what if we made the room and the floor in this room out of wood? I think that could look cute. And then that way, if I use the pick, I don't accidentally mine out the floor. Yeah, I like that plan. Oh my god, this reach. Alright, one thing I didn't think about is the extra difficulty added by the... I think we have plus two reach when it comes to mining things. Hey, question. So Iskal in his YouTube series talks a lot about like the, the balance patches that he wants to put out. Does anybody know if there's a release date for that? Stand further back. Well, I mean, that's the obvious answer, MTG, but sometimes you can't, right? Sometimes you have to mine the block at certain angles. But thank you. <laughs> Simply stand further back forehead. Excellent. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, um, is there a schedule or a release date for it? Because when I downloaded, when I downloaded Vault Hunters, it said it hadn't been up, it hadn't been updated since January. But based on his YouTube series, which has been coming out, it makes it sound like he's making continuous, like mini updates and patches to it. Is that for like a different version? I <laughs> made my lunch. I hope so. I hope I hope that didn't make you sad. I don't know. I feel I feel bad sometimes. I'm like, oh no. Yeah, this is an okay room. Wait, is it square? Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ah, well, at least I'm not off by one. This was supposed to be 17. Look, I'm a 3D printer. Wait, the other way around? 3D cutter? Oh no. The bigger the better. Mm. The struggle of a single click and mining like nine blocks, right? Oh, exactly. I'm too powerful. like a mill or a lathe. Mm. All right, so this room's going to be amazing. Just you wait. So the next thing I need to do is I actually need to tear out the floor and we're going to put like a super pretty floor in here. So I think actually in order to get that, I'm going to need to chop down some trees. So I need a whole bunch of oak.
Let's grab our oak saplings. Of which we have a bunch. Sure do. Yeah. Serge, glad you're enjoying this. As I've watched you play Vault Hunters, I've realized I would absolutely hate playing this. <laughs> it's too stressful, but you're having a good time. I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, it's definitely not for everybody. Willis Draven, thank you very, very much for seven months. Am I twerking? Everything's different here, Kashindan. Everything is different. Welcome to a brave new world of modded. Ooh, ooh, we got a mega tree. I think the versions are different between the curse launcher and the FTB launcher. Which version do I want to be on? Oops. Because I'd love to be up to date, because he's making constant balance changes and tweaks, in particular that affect the early game, which is where we're at, right? And so I re I want to be a part of those changes. Brave new surge, yeah. Oops, I've fallen. Then we head over here. How much wood do I have? Only a couple stacks so far. Do this a couple more times. I think the FTB launcher is the one Iskal is using in his series on 100% on that. Okay, because I think that's the one I'm. I think that's the one I'm using. Curse Forge through FTB. Yeah, uh, version 1.12.4. But the issue is when I look at last updated, I can't remember. Because er Curse Forge through the, uh, the Overwolf. Oh, maybe I am on the wrong one. Oh, geez, how would I even change that? Am I on the wrong one? Uh-oh. Heck. I wonder if I can change or if I'm stuck now. Hey, if anybody is really smart at modded stuff and in the Discord, I would love to have a conversation on that. Because yeah, one of the one of the fascinating things about the um YouTube series thus far is his acknowledgement of like, oh right, you know, things things were balanced a little bit off and I'm going to I'm going to fix that and I was like yes please you know in FTB I see 1.12.4 oh, okay so it's the same version cool okay and and to be clear, 1.12.4 is the version that has all the latest changes or those have not been pushed and he's just playing on like a local version. Hey, what's up, Durgib? What did I miss so far? You missed two vaults and uh, now we're chilling and we're building. I don't want to just break all of these leaves because I have silk touch and I don't want to store 7 million leaves. <laughs> In my in my chest, but I want all the logs. 
No, yeah, sorry, bud. We had one very good we had one very good vault and one okay vault. Oh my god. We got uh we got booby trapped in one of the vaults and almost died. And in that same vault we had found and equipped a totem of undying, and then we had a mob activate a TNT trap that killed us, procced our totem, and then we managed to get out of there. It was wild. Anything good? We got a bunch of ore, and we had an absolute galaxy brain suggestion from somebody in chat to start using our backpack to whitelist picking up ore. So yeah. All right, what am I at? I'm at uh, five stacks. That's pretty good. The mod pack version is 1.12.4 is the most recent version. Sorry, I know you're saying most recent version, but most recent version updated when, right? Because the most recent version that's public does, doesn't necessarily mean it's the same version that Iskal is using for his local playthrough. You know what I mean? We need to be... English is an oddly and frustratingly specific language on what the word most recent version translates to. I think that's all. No UFO trees. I think that's all of them. Nope. Scale plays on a private test server. His updates to configs are not released yet. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Which is a shame because, I mean, his playthrough is a couple months old now. And it feels like he's been making changes since, like, day one. Specifically geared to newer players, like I am. In the early game, like we are. Yeah. Again, again, saying 1.12.4 is the latest version doesn't, doesn't help. So, yeah. Thank you, Shiftless. That's too bad. I mean, it'll, it'll, it is what it is. All right, we got a bunch of wood. Let's head back into here and drop off the stuff we don't need. So sticks will go in here. Apple will go in the apple tree. We've got three stacks of leaves randomly. I don't know, maybe at some point it'll ask us for like 10 million leaves. I'm thinking of maybe putting the braziers we've looted into this room. Wait. Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. How could this happen to me? <laughs> uh, hello? Where did you spawn? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Where, where did you spawn? These are slabs. There's light everywhere. He did the thing. Everybody clap. Did they spawn on top of my chests? Maybe? I'm sad. I didn't think the top of a chest was spawnable. I mean, clearly I'm wrong. <laughs> and it is. But, you know. We 
Wait. No, I'm very smart. You know what's easier than placing blocks? Removing blocks. That's right. There, everybody wanted this room to be bigger anyways, right? Yeah, they said. Oh, but now these torches can't be centered. It's fine, no torch will go on this wall. up snack pack all right so now we tear up the floor and we put in our super pretty wood uh, we're gonna go with a cross thatch pattern which i think looks very good as floors just use lanterns lanterns can't also hold on time out time out time out time out if i say there's no center point in a wall and you say just use lanterns. Where's the center point we hang the lantern from? <laughs> Hold on. What what have you noticed that I haven't? What am I missing? Redstone lamps again, again. How does that solve our problem, chat? Give me give me a second here. <laughs> the ceiling. Where in the ceiling is a center point? <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh my god, chat. It has to be symmetrical if it has to have a home. How does the ceiling make it different? Hey, what's up, Tanner? All right, gonna be honest, one of the things I do dig about modded here is anytime a block, this is a little quality of life thing, anytime a block is done in my hand, it just automatically replaces it. And I just say, thank you, because it's very kind. There's the center point in the middle of each block. There's the galaxy brain, I love it. Does it have a rotation lock with K? Yes, I've never used that before. Is that does that do what I'm doing here? You're going to encourage chaos? How dare you, Hydra Lord? In this chat, you come into this community at this time of day encouraging chaos? So rude. Yeah, the center point thing is, once again, return to the even versus odd argument. You want to make the log face a certain direction, you can rotation lock it. Um, uh, glow like, and unfortunately this is 1.16.5. I don't think uh, I don't think rotation lock is doing what we want it to do, but that's okay. Look at the direction that you want and then press K. Oh, uh, neat. I had no idea what that did. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but it's cool that I know what that does now. Go! 
Cool. I literally never understood how rotation lock works. Huh. What's up, Martin? Welcome. Does that work on rails? Oh my god, right? Well, the issue with rails is sometimes they snap to something else that exists. So it, ha it has less to do with the orientation that they're placed and more to do with like what else is around. Does it work on observers? Oh my god. The USB of Minecraft. the spiders in the walls we're um by the way if you didn't notice on the map oh you can only see the mini map above us we are like in the middle of a uh in the middle of a mine shaft which is kind of funny rotation lock works on observers wow that's cool see you tanner working with rails in your hardcore world almost got you killed how All right, now just the last couple ones here. Wow, I'm glad I got that last little row of trees. This is way more wood than I thought it, I needed. Holy moly. All right, now to make it pretty. Isn't it beautiful? Trying to get them placed in the right direction. Stop paying attention for time of day. Oh, no. Oh, phantoms. I love this floor design, by the way. I guess if we want to go darker... No, no, no. Because we're trying to keep everything stupid simple with our, with our decorating, right? It's beautiful. Thank you. I've stolen it from a bunch of YouTubers. <laughs> this is, like, super popular. And we're in a we're in a mod pack that has vein miners, so we can't use a herringbone. It's too dangerous. My heart couldn't handle it. So I had this idea of in the very center of our uh, pillar driller that we could put like a floating island and connect it via rope bridges. What do you think? Do you think it'd be cooler if the opening was just like a giant hole and then we went around it in circles and we had staircases going down? Or do you like it better if there's like a magical floating island and rope bridges that connect to it? So there's two ways that we can do this, right? We can do like a big spiral all the way down, or we can do one that we like fly to or ender pearl around. We're, we're early enough now that like it doesn't really matter which one we pick, right? Got lots of options. Got lots and lots of time. I think center island with bridges will look super cool. All right. Yes to island. You're digging the island. Definitely biased towards magical floating islands. Okay, okay. Everyone likes the bridges idea. Giant drill. Well, hold on. That sounds like a massive scope creep pretty build, which again, it's not the goal, right? The goal is... Small, achievable baby baby steps so that we can focus on vault stuff. You want to build a magical floating island city in Minecraft? Beautiful. How else do you make the pillar driller? We are the pillar driller. You don't have to construct a pillar driller. 
but I love scope creep. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Uh, first thing we need to do is we need to finish the floor in that room. Do I have any spruce? Oh my goodness. Uh, maybe I have enough. Let's actually, let's bring let's bring a bunch of spruce with us, and let's bring a crafting table over there. Then let's also bring all of our Voltor. And do I have any stone stairs left or did I use them all? <laughs> Thanks, kids. <laughs> Maybe make the cave slightly below the cave opening so it looks suspended between them. Oh, like it's hanging? Interesting. I was thinking like magical floating and then you have um, you have a good amount of space for like a good curve with the bridges as opposed to doing like giant chains. Just pretty metal holding on to... What in the... No! So rude. <clears throat> Very rude. Forgot how much torch was needed in these versions, right? Ugh. Isn't it the worst? Vaulted bridges would be on theme. There you go, chat. Hold on. Wait for it. There. Actually, hold on. Should use all four there. Are there mega torches in this? Yes, but they cost vault stuff. <clears throat> Which I'm hesitant to spend. All right. Beautiful. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I need a little bit of something else. <laughs> a little bit of something else here. That ain't it. Oh yeah, I like that. And then I just need two more braziers. <clears throat> Pardon me. There! 
So yeah, maybe put some lanterns just so we can get rid of the floor torch spam. Oh, you see that pro flying there? Dang. Hold on. No. Something here is wrong. <laughs> oh, this one's wrong. Okay. 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 Hold on. There we go. Okay. So now... Can I remove all of the torch spam on the ground? We'll do a quick run around in F3. So in 1.16.5, we need a light level of 7 or greater. So right there. 7, okay. 6, 5. All right, this is way too messy. Let's just do that. Pardon me. Sorry about that. Oops. Too many torches. Way too many torches. Way, 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 way too many torches. There. Six! I hate you. God, I forgot how much light spam you needed to do in this version. All right. Are we doing okay? What's here? Six again. Right there. What do I do about this? How? Uh, I guess if I get chains and I drop them all by one, that'll help. That's so frustrating, though. See lanterns, Durgib? Durgib, you're wrong. <laughs> Thank you, but you're wrong. Because that, that wasn't the answer to the question. Also, no, never, I never ever I told you so. I have zero patience for that. It just makes me feel terrible. Never I told you so, a streamer. I'm like actually super bummed out about that. What do you want me to do? Like clap and say thank you? How dare you? Now I'm pouting. You told me so. How dare you? This is so ugly. Oh, it's so busy though. Oh, my ceiling is so flat and there's just chains everywhere. I hate this. What do I do? How do I make this look better? Oh, I realized I missed one. I stopped because I don't like how it looks. Here's something to make you feel better. Watching is taking my only Gather Minecraft player to someone who finds joy in creating. Well, thank you. If we alternate them, though, we might miss the light issue. So the problem is the problem is the light level, right? So down here in this corner, how are we doing? It's seven. Where was the issue? Did we get away with it? Maybe if it was just the, the corner ones. Sorry to get so, like, heavy on that one. I don't know. I've been getting, like, yeah, kind of bummed out lately, which is not where I want to be, and I shouldn't take it out on chat, but it's, like, sometimes chat messages are just, you know, like, people are just trying to meme, trying to get a reaction, and, like, the only way to, the only way to react is, like, oh, this just makes me feel like garbage. Seven is still spawnable. Seven, uh, oh god, is seven spawnable? I can't remember. It's been so long. 
Is seven the bad number or seven the good number? Can we do lanterns on top of the piles? The problem is the piles are going to be constantly in a state of flux, right? Similarly, I don't want light on the floor because, again, the piles are going to move everywhere. Seven is the good number? Okay. Let's try and find dark spots here. Seven. I think that works. I think the alternating light is okay. Yeah, so sorry about that, chat. Just like, it's a weird little comment of like, well, first off, the lanterns were unsolicited advice. And then to be like, I use lanterns, I don't know. It's just like, I really got to me. So my apologies. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I can't help but hear that there's 10 million mobs in the caves next to me. They're making a lot of noise. So let's, um, let's go deal with them. Mob stuff over here. Streamer has feelings. I know. I don't know. I just want to do like a... I just want to do like a totally chill and like vibing stream. And then I get bummed out. And that's, that's not what people want to be. It's not the show I want to put on. It's not the vibe I want to do either. Alright. I just googled it. Unless it changes 7 and lower is bad. Well, hold on. I've got... Oh, no. I've got people telling me it's good and people telling me it's bad. Well, I guess we'll show up and if there's mobs in there... <laughs> if there's mobs in there, we'll know to fix it. All right. So, from this room, I could hear... I could hear the mine shaft. So, let's go... Let's go dig into this really quickly. Is it just straight ahead of me or is it just below me? There it is. It's directly below me. Please, my love. Interesting. This is just a cave system. This isn't even the mine shaft. But let's go let's go torch it up anyways. Rude. In a seltzer americano mm. not a lot of people drink coffee with bubbly they're missing out All right, well, that wasn't the spiders I heard, nor is this the mine shaft, but that is still good. Does nitro count as bubbly? Absolutely. Oops. All right, so that's looking good there. Is there a way to show the underground area when I hit M? Because my mini map shows me the underground se section here and I want to check that out, but it's not popping up that well. All right, we've got a lot done so far. So Ore Vault is done. So that feels really good. That's one of our big goals. Now, I guess our next goal is going to be, I'm going to make the floating island in the center here. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm so raspy today. I'm going to make the floating island in the center. And then, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn that into our unloading area, which would be kind of cool. But first, give me a quick second. I'm going to take a very short bio break. I will be right back.
Hello, friends. I'm back. All right. Let's make ourselves a very cozy floating island. That's our next goal. We're getting ourselves into a pretty good position as well for just being able to, like, fly and uh, knock off a bunch of vaults. So I think what's going to happen, it's like today we're going to work on doing some base building and get all that. Because once, once that stuff is done, oh... The foundation that we're laying right now is going to be incredible. So, uh, and we're going to be set up. So I think in tomorrow's stream, we'll just go and get like a, a bajillion vault crystals. And then after that, profit. <laughs> hey, what's up, logo file? Thank you for that prime in 14 months. Appreciate it. All right. So we're here. So I wonder, maybe like a nine across? One, two, three, four, like a beacon, right? Here. Uh, so nine across gives us, oh, that's, hmm. So the smaller the island, the more focus we can put on the bridges, right? Oh, actually, that's so funny. If we get into decorations, which is one of the mods we can unlock, there's literally a rope bridge. <laughs> Where is it? Decoration furniture, test dummies, fairy lights, more lights, decorator? Platforms. Maybe seven by seven. Seven by seven is smaller. I I think it would I, it would want to be bigger if anything. Does it need a tree in the middle? No, uh, I mean that would be the whole island. So the problem with that is a tree requires a canopy, and it's it's getting it starts getting larger and larger and larger, which fills in this whole space. And one of the things that's really going to make the space feel impressive is if it's um. If it's empty. Giant custom tree. Remember the part where we said we weren't going to do a lot of building? Man, chat in your scope creep. <laughs> it just immediately, immediately like, what if instead of a small build, you made a ginormous build? So if we want this to be a floating island, it should be dirt with stone underneath. Any pro tips on getting a farmer to trade apples? I think it might just be luck. Beverin. RNG. Yeah, I'm like, I'm going to play this this mod, this mod pack that we do vaults. And chat's like, what if instead of vaults, you just built forever? <laughs> I'm like, nah, no. <laughs> I'm really motivated. I have so many hopes and dreams. A floating canal is just called an aqueduct. And apparently those don't count. Farmers trade apples? Yep. Did I get lucky? See, this one sells apples. This one sells apples. This one sells apples. You might just be unlucky. <laughs> I, I, sorry, Beverin. I don't know what to tell you. I'm four for four. <laughs> oh. That's why you can't get apples. Surge took them all. I would have got away with it too. It wasn't free meddling kids. So I believe for 9x9, nine nine, I just do this. Do we want it organic or are we happy with it just being like a perfect circle island? I think I like organic shapes. I don't know. We'll see how it looks from above. Yeah. Not digging it so far. It's too, it's too perfect.
What are all these? Oh, these red dots are my footprints. So that's pretty good. It's a little lumpy, which is uh, perfect. Organic is pretty. Mm. You're pretty. Boom, roasted. Surge, I'm not going to make anything pretty. Also, Surge. Can't help it. That one looks like the dirt's melting. I don't build a lot of vines. Vines typically make feel, things feel overgrown or they don't have a lot of texture. It's just flat color. Snurge ooed too far and is now incomprehensible. Good job, Snurge. Good job. I mean, that looks cute. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to make some very simple, just some very simple bridges back and forth. We could do swish bridges or we, you know, swish. <laughs> this is the hand sign for swish. <laughs> Uh, do we have enough room for that? Yeah, let's try. Let's just try some oak slabs. Yeah, got oak there. And then eventually, once we get like um, prettier blocks, we could try and do other things. <laughs> oh my god. Is Snurge married to Jano? I don't know how I feel about that. We're inventing a very rich lore here. Oh, that's a good lore emote. What's that from Hydra? Oh. Oh, you know, a little channel called Critical Role, eh? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> um, hmm. Something's missing. It's close, but something is missing. It's cute though. The railing, it's not a tree. I think it needs a post in these corners. So the problem with the post here though is, um, what is it attached to? It needs posts, I don't know. So the problem with the post, let's grab, uh, let's grab some oak. Is I don't know what it anchors itself into, right? So on the one side, it's pretty easy. On the island. Right? Like, that makes sense. But what do, you, what do we do here? What are you attached to? 
like right like this is this is weird to me hey jessica thank you so much for 100 biddies okay i compromised and i took a short nap can't put off the errands any longer thank you for streaming thank you friend so maybe we grab more of these and we do like a cross support i don't know so from this side that looks better right obviously it needs it needed something to sort of anchor it maybe we get some more cobble we just do like a little a little boop there I do no, it's not if it's spruce. The issue is it's the issue is not the color. The issue is the fact that there's a solid block sticking out of an unsupported slab. That's the problem. Is there a way to partially anchor it to the wall? I mean, I guess what I could do. I could move these pillars. Actually, I think that's just the solution. I think we've got it. So I need a bunch of spruce and to sleep. So if instead we did a little summon something like this. Wait, hold on. I'm out. Is this somehow magically not symmetrical? Thank you for tea, my love. Oh my god, it's not. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh So maybe this is spruce after all. Is this okay? I don't know. What do you think? It's looking better. It's looking way better, actually. I think what I do now, however, though, is I do this. Just like, yeah, lead it a little bit more. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, we got there. No. No, we don't got there. Hold on. Time out. Are we getting there? <laughs> Trying so hard. I think I'm supposed to do this. We're close. We're very close. Yeah! There we go! Thoughts? And actually, we can make this symmetrical if we do this. Right? Hey, Mama Tats! Converted from a Prime to a Tier 1. Thank you, friend. Snurge exploded. It happens. It happens, friend. Yeah, I like the buttons. I think the buttons are cute. Good. Okay, so what I have to do now is apparently these all have to be two instead of three. What's up, Nalha? Good to see you, friend. You're having a fantastic day. 
All right, so we do it five wide. So it's here. I'm happy with this design. I think it I think it scans. Yeah, I'm not worried about a railing right now. We're going to wait for uh, decorative blocks and maybe do something with it then. All right, this is huge because then we'll be able to connect up the uh, the drawbridge. All right, I think we've I think we've got something. I think we've got a workable plan. So then, if we head up top and we see the redesign with the symmetrical supports, oh my god! All right, does anyone else see this? Manta ray. <laughs> huh? Did it break a framework through the door? What do you mean? Now you can't unsee it? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oops. All right, I need like a bajillion more buttons. Too many. This looks like a boss arena. I was about to summon Ganondorf, so. Oh yeah, I see, I did smash. I smashed the whole door frame. Ooh, instant mining. Okay, okay. Thank you, Um, who pointed that out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Crowderona and Meg both noticed the fact that I've destroyed my frame. Well, it's good. If this has, like, a boss arena vibe, that's perfect, right? Because, of course... Vault shenanigans, right? Thank you for giving them brownie points, kids. Appreciate that. The dangers of vein mining. I even knew I even knew this, right? That's why we didn't make a herringbone floor. Should we try and protect ourselves? Alright, so now what we do is we put this in. Then, so it looks like, yeah, it looks like, just do this. They're going to be kind of similar. Actually, there's no reason that for them not to just be identical, if I'm perfectly honest. It goes down a step. Does it go down one step or two steps? Uh, pardon me. It goes down one step, but it extends out twice. That's what I meant to say. And because we have the cool modded thingy, or whatever, because I have reach, I can just do this. And then it's two, 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 one. Okay, so two, two. Go up a step. Then this comes like this. And we put some of these in here. Nope, that's wrong. <laughs> put some of these in here. And we do this. Close. This. Perfect. The dash boost noise reminds you of Crash Bandicoot. I've never played a Crash Bandicoot. 
It is a uh, it is a hole that's missing from my uh, my video game resume repertoire. I don't know what the word is. Game I've never played. I hear they're fun. They're kind of iconic. here I feel so bad that I was such a downer earlier chat oh man like legit feel bad it's like the bounce back is real All right, one more. Cute. We're doing it. Ooh, I missed buttons here. But I missed buttons on some of the other ones, too. We're going to put a roof on this? No, it's not a gazebo. Uh, <laughs> that's how you get gazebos. And then you end up with, like, hilarious D&D &D memes. How about a moat? We're going to be digging down to bedrock. Ne eventually, inevitably, those are not the words I wanted to use. So yeah, we got a game plan. We got a game plan. I like that we've managed to get this bridge plan coming together pretty quickly, though, because I think this is going to look really cute, really tie the place in. What about a pergola? You made that word up. That or roll for initiative. I'm not quite sure what that word means. Isn't a pergola type of dragon? That's very cute, by the way. Wait, is it like a perfectly square island now? That Oh, it is. Oh, that's not good. Well, I mean, the, the island shape was organic at some point. Now it's just a perfect, <laughs> now it's just a perfect square of grass. I don't know. If I break a corner, is it better? Then it still is just symmetrical. I mean, I guess that one can stay. Sure, there we go. Now it's not symmetrical because there's one corner that's different, right? Strip the logs near the next en last entrance. Thank you. Yes, very good. Okay, so our magical. Oh, that wasn't even on our. Oh no, this this wasn't on our list. So now it is because it's going to be our unloading area. Wait, how do I do that? Because if it's in the center, that's actually bad. Unless, hold on, unless. Hmm. I was going to say, I could put a hole in the floor. Oh, right. It's hollow. And then we put our shulker boxes there, and then <sighs> something needs to go here, and I don't know what it is. Do I have any light source blocks? Not yet. I might have glowstone. I don't know if I picked any up. I have a glowstone. Uh, glowstone's so ugly, though. I was hoping for maybe like a shroom light or something. I guess I could put... No. Because, yeah, the goal here 
the goal here is we're done a vault and we come here and we put down our shulker boxes and we organize it all. But I also need a light source. So I need light sources here. And then maybe, I guess maybe once we get into modded, there could be like a really pretty block. Like there's a whole mod just called light sources. Redstone lantern's interesting. Redstone lantern, I don't hate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. It's not a bad suggestion. So we need glowstone for that. It's like glowstone and redstone, I think. Think that's the recipe? Yeah, good stuff. And then I've got lots of redstone, so I'll just put lanterns underneath it. And I need a block in the middle. Maybe it's just grass again? No, brazier or anything that we run into is also not great. So we just want, we just want like... I think even just, just like this is fine. Right, we just run through and we put our shulker boxes into the floor there. And actually, actually what we could do, does it make sense to have three empty ones there and then grab them before we leave? Yeah, I think so. I think that's a great suggestion. So there you go. So these are gonna be the, the, the ones that we take into the vault with us. So they're here, right? So before we go into a vault, we take these and when we're done the vault, we put these back and we sort our stuff. And then this whole island, I missed the buttons, this whole island, dye them? Nah, they're not a fashion statement, they're just shulker boxes. This whole island now has, oh my god, it has a face! Look at it from above! Oh no, what have I done? Okay, I mean, that's kind of amazing, but I don't know if I like it. Oh no. All right. That's, uh, yeah. It kind of looks like a golem face or something, right? I've created a friend. Their name is Harold. Harold wishes us good luck before every vault. Looks like an iron golem, right? Amazing. If it gets struck by lightning, it comes to life. You put in a third lantern. I didn't want a strip of lanterns, though. I thought about that. It's uh, too samey. I kind of like the grass block in the center, to be honest. Okay, well, that's great. So, we have our unloading area. So, now, originally, I wanted a... I wanted a vault storage area. And eventually we're gonna get a bunch of junk. We're gonna start getting vault gear and we're gonna need chests and chests and chests of that. So I kind of feel as if opposite of here, <laughs> it's a golem surrounded by manta rays. Uh, opposite here, maybe even two different rooms. Well, if I do a hallway that goes down, turn into a little dwarven kingdom here. Maybe I, actually, maybe I carve it into here. I don't know. I just need a couple more little areas. So I could put an enchanting area here, right? An enchanting area just needs a seven wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, like we could carve, wait. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, it's only five deep though. Oh, it's five wide. You know what? We can make this work. We can make this work. Oh, no. This is a problem. Uh, we'll, we'll leave those for now. This will start to get us a little bit of character here, right? Right. 
Right. Okay. That that one has to stay. So if that's our enchanter, that means I can do. Has to go to there. Right, so we do this, and then we do that. What's our light level here looking like? Six is bad. <laughs> I think I can put a lantern directly above it. That's cute. Okay, good. Then we do anvil and a grindstone, and then we put the chest over here. And this chest has all of our blue stuff in it. Then, yeah, I guess I guess I do the same thing as we did there. We put three chests in the floor. All right, let's me do I need a random thing. Now let's me do level 30. Or did I miss one? Yeah. Awesome. This is working. Alright, so the enchanting area is done. We still don't have a bedroom. But that can come. That can come later. This is what I did for hours last night, by the way, is I would like break a chest, grab its contents, fly, fly back. Step one. <laughs> Which is why I did it off stream, because I was like, not the quality content y'all are used to. Better show. Oh, by the way, these are roughly organized as uh, combat enchantments, handy enchantments, or sorry, um, like tool enchantments rather, and then the final one is uh, defensive enchantments. I don't have a great organizational system for them, but you know, it's good enough. Oh, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. It was offensive enchantments, other enchantments, and then books with multiple enchantments. That was the final one. Yes, 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 yes. I remember now. So stuff like this. We should make a bedroom for like a spare bedroom for James. I don't have any of those blocks yet. So yeah. All right. That's looking cute. We've got a little bottle area there. So I guess, hold on. Chanting area. Goodbye. Statue area. So the statue area, I guess, could also go into the vault area. And the vault area would be something like this, but asymmetrical. So, I guess let's just start digging it. Well, let me, let me start writing these down over here. All righty, we're doing it. I still don't know where our bedroom goes. Maybe we, maybe we carve out a little room right here beside it. So functional. The goal, the goal with this whole base, functional, right? Maybe we'll grab a couple more of the braziers. We'll put braziers up here. One, two, three, four, five. That's what I thought. There have been shorter streams this weekend, but I feel like we're getting so much done, which is uh, an excellent feeling. And we've got a good, uh, we've got a good time sync project. So yeah, tomorrow is going to be a vault crystal grind extravaganza. I mean, let's just make it symmetrical. Do we need a bedroom? I think it would be rude not to have a bedroom. I want to go one, two, three down. 
Yeah, no reason not to make this room symmetrical. How much water do we go here? We go one, two, three out. Okay. Yeah, because we're going to get a bunch of stuff that we'll probably just want as mementos. And uh, that'll be kind of a fun thing to do. Hey, what's up, Josh P. Matthews? Three hour drive. Get to cozy up with a surge stream. That's very flattering. Appreciate those good vibes. There's days too where I'm having a super crummy day and just like being around chat is an excellent feeling too. So thank you for that. Oh my goodness. How long is this room? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. All right. Let's go eighteen back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Till we 50 50 a poll just because we can. Is that like that Johnny Cash song? Shot a mad in Reno just to watch him die. That's what you do, but with polls. What's up, both ends? Lurking while deep cleaning the house. Amazing. Well, I 50 50 the streamer just to watch him cry. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it, but you know. Come for the Minecraft, stay for the deep. Johnny Cash puns. Mm. Really got my brand locked in. I imagine Snurge has a a rich social network of other villains. He hangs out with, they compare notes, you know. It's the point of being evil if you don't have anyone to share it with. Maybe they wouldn't refer to each other as as friends, but like um, a loose network of acquaintance and confidants. We've already established today in the lore that uh, Snurge is married to Jano. That cracked me up. Yeah, you can be the bad guy and still have a uh, very healthy social network, I imagine. Maybe Snurge doesn't, maybe Snurge lives a double life. You know, and when people, when people finally find out, like, oh, he was such a, he was such a nice guy. I'm shocked. part did you miss kits was it that uh that snurge is married or other sections the jano yes snurge was talking earlier about his my wife right you're like all right 
go down three steps, I believe. I'm excited to later on get a Paxel, because you know how we've been going back and forth between like a shovel and an axe and a pick. There's a uh, special vault exclusive Paxel recipe that we can make later on, which is very cool. Oh, we're all full up. Is this Mod Hunter's Mod Pack solo? Uh, I'm playing on a single player world, yes. I think that's what you're asking. best villains are the ones you never hear about yeah or they go down in history after right they're like there was this bank that got robbed and like 90 million dollars are gone and we have no idea who hit it telling you right now snurge okay and then i do another step down here looks like i actually do something like this All right, so here's our second storage room. Uh, I think we leave one of these on the side. I don't even know. So dark. All right, let's take out the... Uh, Colorful spots. Joker is the best villain. Oof. No, Joker has some pretty serious problems. Some mega serious problems. Joker is a very problematic villain. <laughs> Alright. Um, yes, I did want that, that ring around the exterior. And the other thing I want now is a bunch of spruce for the floors. All villains do. I thought, um, didn't everybody like Lex Luthor? Like, actually. A lot of people look back at Lex Luthor, they're like, you know, actually, he was fine. No, he was bad. Luthor was way, Luthor was worse than Joker? Hold on, time out, time out. Oh, was, wait, was Lex Luthor a white supremacist? Okay, I take that back, never mind. Didn't know that part. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Backpedal, dig up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I must have missed that particular story arc. <laughs> Alright, and this is where we store all our vault stuff, which is exciting. Look at me, look at me changing the subject. <laughs> So elegantly. All right, so now I need some of these brick stairs, which are going to look really cute. And then I need to extend this up to the top here. So how wide is my staircase? Is it five wide? Five, okay. Yeah, one, two, three, four.
Learning a lot in chat that uh, there aren't a lot of likable villains. Fascinating. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually put down some bricks here. And I love what we did with the um, the braziers on the other side. I thought that worked out quite well. So we'll, uh, we'll try and collect a couple more of those in the next couple of vaults we do. Because yeah, picture braziers there, huh? All right, so now we come here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put... Mr. Freeze, I guess Mr. Freeze's motivation was fine. Uh, we're going to put these chests at the back wall. So we're going to get a bunch of these. And their goal, their mission in life is to make, um, to lay little nest eggs. Little gifts to us. Oh, actually, let's put them up in the air. We haven't done any of this yet, but we could put down some shelves, which I think would be really cute. So if we did like this. Right? Look at that. And then we do like this. Awesome. And now what we want to do is we want to grab a bunch of spruce. And we're going to make a chest wall. And I think I'm actually going to make it five high instead of four high. And then maybe eventually come back and change these two. So what do I have? I have two and then groups of two. Okay. So two. And then we go all the way up. It's so funny how in Minecraft you can make something and then just like completely forget how you made it, even like literally the next day. No, I want them all facing. Which way are the chests all facing? They're facing in, right? Yes. All you can think about when you hear the word Arnold is Arnold Schwarzenegger's, or pardon me, Mr. Freeze is Arnold Schwarzenegger's delivery. Everybody chill. I'm going to kill you with ice. I don't know. Perfect casting MO. You know, the quiet intellectual scientist. Oh, oh, I've introduced depth. Oh, I like it so much better. Okay, well, this is this is how it is now. Sometimes you make a happy little mistake and then you have to change their whole design everywhere else. You know, as as one does. As one does. Oh, that's so much cuter. Heck. Best casting ever was Jim as the Riddler. Was Di who played Penguin? Was it Danny DeVito? Some of the old ones. Yeah, Jim Carrey as the Riddler was pretty good. All right. Have they done Penguin as a villain outside of an animated series since or no? I don't I don't remember another movie with the penguin as a villain. Gotham? I haven't seen Gotham. Is that a TV show? The Gotham TV show. Okay. Kind yeah, of not familiar. song just writes itself so the goal with all of this stuff is this is going to be all of like the stacks and stacks and stacks of vault gear will eventually accumulate and i don't know what to do with but i watched this cal's video and i assume we're going to be equally profitable in all of the vaults <laughs> so we should start preparing for it now eh
Because of course, why wouldn't we be? Yeah, look at this. All right, and then this side, this side, we're gonna go for a different style. Let's go one, two. Right? Good thing we're not spending tons and tons of time doing decorating, eh? And again, I don't know what's going to go in here yet, but... But we're getting there, right? Pardon me. Oh my god, these noises my body is making! <laughs> ah! Surge, ba I appreciate how basically anytime you build something, you take the time to try and make it nice, but I'm trying not to build! I'm doing my best! I'm cutting corners left and right. This is great. Okay, so this is exactly what I wanted to have. So check this out. Uh, I put all my gems in here now, right? So there we go, the beginning of all of our wealth. So we'll put uh, star essence and star diamonds and stuff here. All of our gems will go here. Oh, I want to organize them though. Uncommon, common, common, rare, very rare. The spider noises are back. Yeah, that seems like a future surge problem. <laughs> all right, here's all these misc things. Uh, they're all gonna go up in here. So apples, and then stonks, and then uh, burger stuff. Let's go up here. Let's go over here. And then last but not least, right, all these miscellaneous modded things. Right, 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 right. That's all going to go here. Eventually we'll grab waystones. I don't know when that is, you know, but we'll get there. Relics, relic cupcake. Actually, that could, I mean, those good things maybe we put in the center, but that'll be, that'll be for later. And that brings us right to 12, which is the time that I have to leave today. As uh, apologies for the short streams, but my parents are in town. I'm going to have lunch with my mom today, which is wonderful because I haven't really had a chance to hang out with her much in the past couple of years, you know, pandemic and all that stuff. Can you set waystones inside of a vault? You cannot, nor can you use ender chests or anything like that. Friends, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you hanging out. In here for sort of a, a shorter day. We're going to be, again, for Sunday and Monday, kind of unsure of the actual schedule that we're doing for everything. So shorter days, more random days, um, maybe different start times and stuff like that. So please follow the channel. <laughs> please, I beg of you. No. <laughs> it'll it'll help out figuring out what the time we're doing or keep your eyes peeled in Discord. And it's the best way to know if we're actually going to be doing something or canceling or not. And then, yeah, tomorrow we're going to focus on more vault stuff. We're going to gather a bunch of um, crystals. I think my schedule is that I'm going to be going right at 9. I should be. Yes, we're going to do another day similar to today. So start at 9 a.m. and go until about 
and show three, three and a half hour stream. Something like that should be pretty cozy. So yeah, come um, come hang out. We're gonna maybe do a vault. The goal will be to probably try and craft like um, six to ten crystals again, so we could do a huge day of just like grinding vaults, which would be a lot of fun. Um, thanks for the subs. Thanks for the bits. Thank you to all the support. Huge shout out to the mods who I couldn't do this without, and of course to my wonderful and supportive partner Joe. Have a great day, and let's now send you over to. Wait, Adam is streaming on a Saturday? Neat. We raided Adam the other day. Oh my god! Let's raid Julie. My delightful friend Julie is streaming uh, Katamari Damacy. Now, now the song is stuck. I'm sorry, I'm cursing you. It's like glitter. This is going to be on you all day, and you're like, no! Uh, I tend to be very family-friendly. Julie is an absolute delight, but will occasionally say bad words like butts, so be aware. But go spread some positivity. Go let somebody know that they're loved. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. And until next time, bye-bye.